shift our focus from the usage of dumb phones to helping you use your st smartphones maybe hassle free we're going to introduce you to someone who is helping develop revolutionary technology this is the indian origin researcher mm. ankur gupta his team at the university of colorado boulder has developed a set of through a lot of research they've developed and established a set of studies that they think can potentially be used to charge a dead laptop or a phone in one minute even an electric car in just 10 minutes so everything they've done they think can lead to technology like that Yes, the new technology is here and this tech has uh, been the one which has been published in journals as well, Proceedings of the National Academy of Science and of course we have Mr. Ankur here with us on the program to answer more questions on that. Good morning Ankur, thanks so much for joining us. Uh, first want to understand what are super capacitators if I am saying that right as of today and how uh, do they compare to your regular lithium ion batteries as well? Uh, yeah, no, uh, so thanks for thanks for the invitation. Um, I'm happy to chat about my work. So uh, super capacitors are energy storage devices, uh, so much like batteries. So basically, uh, they are devices that we can charge to store energy, uh, and then we can use them uh, uh, in the discharge cycle to release energy uh, for our, you know, our devices. Uh, but unlike batteries, uh, batteries rely on um, an electrochemical reaction. Uh, in simple words, basically one side is giving an electron and the other side is accepting an electron to store energy. Uh, Supercapacitors are like a charged sponge. So like we have sponges at home which absorb water, uh, supercapacitor are like a charged sponge that they absorb charge. Uh, and that's how they store energy. Uh, so there is uh, not necessarily a reaction yeah. involved in supercapacitors. Uh, and they have been around for a while, um, much like batteries. Uh, and uh, they have different properties compared to batteries. Uh, so we have batteries in our laptops, in our phones, um, which uh, typically take, you know, uh, somewhere from 30 minutes to uh, several hours to charge uh, for batteries. Uh, but in supercapacitors, the charging is much faster. Uh, because they are more of a physical mechanism that they are just storing charge to like a sponge mechanism. So we're going to just break this down for our audiences because it is a very science dense topic. Is it correct to tell our audiences that mm. the potential of super capacitors was known but that it was thought of as possible but not yet practical? That's the way we saw it summarized in an article, the work that you've been doing. Your research has essentially found the missing link. Is that the correct way to put it? Yeah, uh, so I would say like that was probably a little bit taken out of context. So for sure, supercapacitors have been known for a while uh, and their promise has also been very well understood uh, in the community. Um, and definitely our group is not the first one to work on it. There have been many leading groups in the world that work on this topic. Uh, and specifically, supercapacitors are already available in market uh, and are already deployed. Uh, to give you a context, uh, they were uh, built in Lamborghini Sian. I think that came out four to five years back. Uh, so in a vehicle where basically they can be very useful uh, to recover energy when you're braking. So like I said, supercapacitors, their key property is their speed. Uh, and so basically whenever you're braking uh, a car, you can recover that kinetic energy and store it in a supercapacitor. And because you break within a few seconds, uh, you won't be able to store that in a battery. Uh, you, you better use a supercapacitor because they, that they can charge faster. All right. So just to understand, you know, tech of all of this aside, just the implementation of this. This means that your phones, your cars, your laptops, it will take seconds, if not seconds, minutes for them to come to a full charge. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, uh, excellent question. Uh, so to put it simply in what we have exactly done, I would say think of designing a city uh, and designing roads in a city. Uh, so if there are thousands and thousands of roads in a city, uh, what we have basically contributed in our manuscript is how do you place the roads? Where do you place the intersections? What are the rules of the intersections? Uh, and those are obviously very critical if you're trying to think of designing a city. So what we're trying to basically argue in our manuscript is how to design ionic cities, 
So these are basically cities of ions where ions are flowing and you know going around uh, and storing energy. Uh, so that's what we have proposed in our manuscript. Uh, but obviously this is still a model and I would say uh, one that we did regular uh, rigorously test uh, through our simulations, but needs to be, uh, you know, uh, have more rigorous checking. So uh, just like when we design cities and we have a new idea, we would try to want to, you know, uh, test it out at a smaller scale. So next step is essentially uh, using our model and trying to actually validate it using real experiments, uh, seeing can we use our model to improve the performance of this super capacitors systematically. Mm. Can you just tell us a little bit more about the, the developing process? Tell us about what a day uh, researching at the University of Colorado Boulder with your team actually looks like. Yes, absolutely. Uh, so I first started this idea back in 2019, which is crazy to think it was five years back. Uh, so before the pandemic. So uh, I, I remember thinking about this problem. Uh, so I'm a chemical engineer by training. Uh, and I'm not particularly, I was in, uh, in the super capacious community back in 2019. Um, and I was a postdoctoral fellow back then. Now I'm an assistant professor. Uh, so it was basically this big idea that can we think about designing, you know, these networks and so on um, and really optimize ionic transport. Uh, and much like any research, uh, it is a slow process. So we broke the problem down into smaller steps. Uh, and then, uh, you know, for instance, if you're designing a city, how do you design a single road before you go and design thousands and thousands of roads or hundreds of thousands of roads? How do you design a single road? Uh, and so that was our first few contributions were most focused on a much simpler problem. All right. Also tell us beyond just the potential speed of charging, are there other advantages as well to this tech? And could you, for example, hold over lithium batteries, especially in the Indian Asian infrastructural context? Uh, yes, absolutely. So uh, supercapacitors are, uh, and obviously some literature disagrees, but I would say generally it's accepted that they can store much more cycles. Uh, so, uh, you know, in batteries, there are generally, you know, thousands to a lakh or so uh, of cycles. Um, but then in supercapacitors, you can go much, lo much longer. Uh, and you can go 10 to 100 times more cycles. So that's an advantage of supercapacitors. Uh, in some cases, they are also safer. Uh, so to give you context, because they have this high speed of charging and they can give this burst of energy, uh, my understanding is that in Airbus mm -hmm. A380, uh, they are deployed emergency exit doors. So if something is going on an airplane, it would be likely safer. Uh, and as you know, if we are asked to uh, take out you know, battery packs because of safety concerns. So in general, in some cases, they might be safer also compared to batteries. Uh, but in particularly Asian context, I think they do hold a lot of promise uh, because of this idea of high power density or more energy per unit time, because again, short hmm. charging time. Hmm. Ankur, thank you so much for so patiently breaking that down for both of us too and just really explaining the nuances of what you've just, uh, what not just you, your entire team has actually researched and created. Thank you for joining us here on